guys in this app review I'm gonna review Procam app um, basically this app you'll want it if you want to take pictures um, so most apps you'll, you'll see that you have that 10 second timer thingy uh, when you pick it this one actually can go up to 30 seconds um, and it's not just that I'm gonna show you this right here okay so just by turning the dial okay as you can see here when you pick this um, just in case sorry about the lagginess that you'll see um, right now because I spoke a little bit too loud it just took a picture I'm just gonna leave my iPhone there for a second um, so basically what I was telling you guys this right here when you pick it you can clap your hands um, I've been six to seven meters away from it and it it will still catch that clap that you do and it'll take the picture in five seconds as you can see right now I'm gonna just pick another one because it's kinda annoying that it's doing that while I'm making this video now the way that you wanna hold this for sure it's um, horizontal okay if you're gonna take a picture vertical you can but um, the apps made more so you can see it um, horizontal okay and anyways your pictures you have seen they come out much better um, on your screen once you put them on your uh, iMac, MacBook Pro, or PC, any computer that you have, you'll see that it comes out better if you do it horizontally than taking a vertical picture with it. Cause vertical just looks kind of odd um, for the most part. Some pictures do need that. Anyways, um, so for this app, besides that clapping, um, like I said, I was six, seven meters away from it. I still clapped. And it did take the picture, so that's really good if you're just by yourself or with a couple of friends you want to go all group in. Uh, so that's even better than a timer. If you want to use it on a nightclub, for example, it will not work since the noise it's just too much. So it'll be constantly taking pictures. Um, that could work as well. As well. It could. Um, so you could clap various times. You could take, um, let's say, 10 pictures. You can just keep clapping and clapping after each picture. Um, you can set it up 30 seconds like I told you. You have other setups here which are pretty good. Um, I use it mostly just because of that and the clapping, that's the best part about this app. Um, you can also lock in your white balance up here as you can see. You can lock in your focal point okay, and your AE. So that's basically if it's a really bright day and um, it just focuses better on a certain part well you would lock these um, out of focus or the A in um, for white balance it's kind of the same thing you can lock it in um, I don't use it too much for that you also have this right here okay so let me just show you what that shows you okay so from here you can actually put it brighter or less bright just um, by moving your white balance a bit okay which is pretty good um, besides that the information that gives you up here you can always take it away so see all this information you can just take it away um, just by pressing display which is right here so if you press display you'll see that that goes away um, the lagginess once again that you saw up here it's not because the app slow it's just right now my computer and um, I'm uploading a few things and it's uh, pretty crazy anyways uh, besides that you can do video as well um, you do have that option you'll see it right down here um, if we move this along you'll see more options so I'm just gonna move it along so you guys can see I don't really use the other ones you know you have the nighttime normal camera um, but like I said, that this one's one of the best ones uh, options. You can zoom in as well. Um, to zoom in with this app, you just have to use this right here. Okay, so I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see how it zooms in. I never recommend zooming in with any app for your camera. It's better just to go to your PC or or MacBook and just edit your photo later, crop it. And zoom in on that it'll probably do a better job than any app will do um, just because it will come very pixelized anyways um, 
so the apps can't really do that even if you're cropping on your PC it'll be a little bit pixelized um, something else I'm going to show you is this up here so if you press that so I just want to show you the options that it gives you um, now it does depend on what setting you have it on so it, it just basically just takes off and on your flash um, that's that also in menu I'm gonna show you what it gives you in menu. So you can't put down your megabytes here. So this is an iPhone 5, so it goes up to 8 megabytes. Okay, you might have another iPhone or a lower res one. This will say still 8 megabytes. Doesn't really mean it's gonna take 8 megabytes, but it will try to. <coughs> um, in general, you don't want to have your camera set as 4 to 3. Now if you're gonna print these pictures, uh, let's say I saw 4x6, this is still one of the best ways to set it up. 16 to 9 you will see some whites around it if uh, you print these pictures. Um, if you're like most of us and you won't print them then you don't care about this. Um, but the best setting for a 4x6 just in case if you guys want to print it go to 3 to 2 okay so that's what you want to pick if you're ever gonna print these pictures out if you're not this is the higher res most professional photographers also choose this on their DSLRs um, so same thing for from here you can pick if you want a steady light okay just use it like a flashlight let's say your your, your iPhone um, you can pick this uh, since you have an iPhone, assuming that's if you're having an iPhone 4, 4S and 5 anywhere above the 4, you will have a light behind it. If you have a 3GS, they don't have a flash, or 3G or 2G, they, they don't have a flash behind them. Um, and, and therefore you can't really use them as a flashlight. Anyways, that's it for this app. Once again, I will give it a 10 out of 10 just because I was looking so hard for one that I had a um, more than 10 seconds and this clap thing that you can make or you, you can clap or make just a big noise from what it is and it'll take a picture it does take a bit like you saw right now but it's pretty good so once again 10 out of 10 really good app compared to a lot of apps other camera apps that I've used I use these plus a bunch more and this one has been the best one so ProCam gets a good rating and Unluckily, it's not free. You do have to pay for it. So some of the good stuff on the App Store, actually, most of the good stuff is paid for, and uh, most of the crappy stuff is free. So you do have to you do pay for what you get. Anyways, thanks guys for watching, and any comments, questions, just leave them out right here.